hello guys welcome to today's tutorial this is martin skelechi here with you if you're new to my channel don't forget to subscribe and also like this video make sure to drop a comment on the next video you would like to see on my channel so today i'm going to be showing you how to use the bezier tool on pixel lab so this is the default setting background on pixel lab so i'll just go ahead and go to my favorite setting then you can go to the object tool and enable the bezier tool so when you enable the bezier tool this is what is going to come out you can use this plus icon here to add more curves okay this plus icon and you can use this to remove curves all right so and you can also use this to switch between curves you can also use these two arrows to switch between curves and you can copy curves with this copy tool here okay so that's all about that so when this this first this first one is selected this first option is selected in the bezier mode you can add points along a path okay when the second one is selected you can adjust points you can adjust points with your hands you can adjust points and when this third one is selected you can move the bezier to around okay so you can also use this to remove points that you have added along that path and when there is a single point you can use your hands to you can use your hands to move it around but make sure this first one is selected okay these two are kind of synonymous to with each other so these two doesn't work without these two being selected so and you can close up the design using this one so you can close up the the curve okay and make it enclosed and you can also open it up as well with that too so you can expand it with this and you can rotate it too with this too okay so you can also increase the stroke and um, when you want your stroke to have curve curve edges you enable this but when you have your your when you want your curves to have a smooth edge like this one you enable this and when you want it to be protruded outside you enable this so you can adjust the opacity with these two and you can also change your color or you want to use a gradient anyone with these two okay thank you very much for watching this video make sure to drop a comment on the next video you'd like to see on my channel follow me on instagram and all also on facebook at martin skelechi and like my page at double m visuals okay thank you very much for watching this video do have a wonderful day